Hi friends, uh, here is a problem of arithmetic sequence related to the sum of the n terms, right? So the question is saying here, how many terms of an AP 9, 17, 25, dash, 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 right, something, must be taken to give a sum of 636, right? So the first term is 9, second term is 17, third term is 25. So easily we can calculate the common difference and the first term is also given and the last term uh, sorry, uh, the sum of the whole series is also given, right? So, uh, here, we need to find out 9 plus 17 plus 25 plus dash, 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 right? Uh, up to which term we have to take, right? Up to which term we have to take that the sum of the n term will get 636, right? So, here we have got the first term 9, right? the common difference we have got here 17 minus 9 it means second term minus first term so 17 minus 9 uh, will be getting 8 right we got the common difference also and the sum of the uh, all the series is 636 right now we need to find out the n means how many terms right how many number of terms sum is 636 that we need to find out right so n equals to what I have already told you in previous video that you'll be getting the three things and you have to find out the fourth one, right? So uh, we have got here three things, right? Uh, so let me write here the sum of the n terms formula. The sum of n terms formula is as n is equals to n upon 2, 2a plus n minus 1, right, times d, right? Uh, most often time uh, I have seen people confusing between the which formula I have to apply there is another formula also we have learned that sum of the n terms equals to n upon 2 right uh, a plus l right so people uh, often uh, I have seen confusing between these two formula which formula to be applied see here uh, is being applied uh, here it is the given that first term and l term I uh, means the last term if you get the first term and as last term you'll be we will be applying this formula since here we haven't got the last term, right? We have just got the first term and term we need to find, right? As and we have got, right? As and we have got the common difference we have uh, got and the first term we have got. So we will be applying this formula rather than using this formula, right? Because we haven't got the last term, right? See, the last term is uh, vacant. So that's why we will not be applying this formula. So keep this thing in mind. If you have got the last term, then you have to apply the last term formula. Right, uh, some of the last term form, some of the terms of this uh, series. If you have got the last term, here simply we have got this. So we'll be d uh, using this formula, right? So let me proceed. N. We don't know the value of n, right? But we know the value of S n, right? So S n is six hundred and thirty-six, right? Or n by two. N by two. Two times e. That is two times nine. Plus n minus one and minus 1 times the common difference that is 8 right so 2 times n and 8 here is 2 is also even and 8 is also even so I can bring the 2 so n upon 2 2 is uh, t uh, making I'm, I'm taking the common 2 right so I, I'm, now I'm left with 9 plus n minus 1 times 4 so 2 for the 8 exactly right so now I can cut this 2 and 2 so what I got here that 636 is equals to n times n plus 4 times n. So it will be 4n minus 4 times 1, 4, right? So what I can write now, 9n plus 4n times 4n. So it will be 4n square n times minus 4. So it will be minus 4n, right? So now further what I can write, see here, it is uh, 636, right, equals to 9n minus 4n, so that is 5n plus 4n square. Now I'm just arranging this, right, properly, 4n square plus 5n, this is positive 636, but in left side, now I'm taking uh, this in right side, and this whole right side, I'm writing this side, so it will be minus 636 equals to 0 so friends we got a quadratic equation right so now we need to find out uh, the solution of this so uh, we have the lots of methods to find out the value of n using the quadratic, uh, quadratic uh, methods right we have lots of so I'm just using the double term splitting method right I'm just using the splitting method 
so in splitting method what do we have to do the product of the these two right uh, the first uh, this first one and this last one uh, I mean this is a x square plus b x plus c equals to zero right so product of a and c should be uh, when uh, uh, let, let me first write right first product of a and c so product of a and c that is 4 times 6 3 6 so 4 6 are 24 carry over 2 4 3 are 12 right so 12 and this 2 14 again carry over 1 and 6 4 is 24 so it is 25 now right so product of the a and c is 25 4 4 so we have to get such two terms right it is uh, just the comparison with this right we have to get such two terms when we will multiply them we will be getting this much 25 44 and when we will be adding them we have to get 5 right so we need to find such two terms when we will multiply them we will be getting 2 5 4 4 and if we add them we have to get uh, we will be getting 5 only so we need to find out such terms right so how to find such terms let me give you here first we need to find out the prime factorizations of 2544 4, right so I'm just finding out the 2544 4, the prime factorizations of this right so now 2 1 the 2 2 2 the 4 and this 14 so mm, 2 7 the 14 and then again 2 uh, uh, 2 the right 2 2 the so again 2 6 the 12 2 3 is a 6 and 1 again I will get so it will be 12 so 2 6 a. again 2 3 is a, 2 1 is a, 1 will be left so 1 and 6 16 it will be 2 8 is a. again 2 1 is a, and it will be 11 and 2 5 is a, and again it will be 1 and 8 18 so 2 9 is a, right again uh, it will not 9 is there so it is odd and I cannot give it by uh, 2 uh, so I have to uh, give it by another let me check with 3 it is going or not so 9 plus 5 14 plus 1 15 15 is divisible by 3 right so it be also divisible by 3 so 3 5 is a 15 and 3 3 is a uh, 3 3 is a 9 so I cannot proceed before this uh, further because 53 and uh, it's an prime number right so now see mm, 2 2 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 8 to the 16 and 16 3 is a 48 right this I'm getting 48 and if I'll multiply 40 and 53 I'll be getting this uh, 2 5 4 4 right this 2 5 4 4 I'll get when you multiply 40 and 53 you'll get 2 5 4 4 but if you add 53 and minus 48 of course you'll be getting the 5 so I got the value right so I'm just writing this here mm, yeah right so 4 and a square plus 53 and minus 48 and minus 636 equals to 0 right or again I can take the common this and 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 so and will come common now and it is 4 and plus 53 again here 48 and 63 so what we can get the common between 48 and 63 is we can get whole 48 right see uh, uh, 636 so since uh, we have got here 4 4n so I have to left here 4n so I can take and when I will multiply 4 by 12 then only I will get 48 that's why I have to take the 12 common from here right because when I will multiply this 12 with 4 then I will get 48 right that's why I have to take the 12 common uh, 12 outside so 12 it means 4n minus C minus minus means plus times uh, sorry plus times minus or minus times plus is always minus right so I have taken one minus uh, from both so one minus came this side right one minus came this side so plus is left since minus is here so plus is left so it will be plus right so 6 and uh, now sorry so if I will take the 12 common from the 636 how much I will get for that I need to divide 636 by 12 right uh, if I will divide uh, 636 by 12 then 12 5 is a mm, 60 right it is, we can get from here also because see 3 to the 6 6 to the 12 means if you divide 12 by 53 then you will get 63 636 but 
still I'm doing here 12 5 is 60 again here 3 and 6 so 12 3 is 36 it means here I can write 53 equals to 0 or further what I got that 4n plus 53 4n plus 53 from both place I can take the common so 4n 53 times n minus 12 right times n minus 12 equals to 0 right so now either 4n plus 53 equals to uh, equals to 0 so what I can write that n equals to 53 but in negative upon 4 or n minus 12 <coughs> equals to 0 therefore n equals to 12 right since the value of n cannot be in negative form right so it will not be and the value of pure n is this n equals to 12 so what can we say that now right we got the value so how many terms of an AP uh, of the AP 917 9 comma 17 25 must be taken to be give the sum of sum of 636 so we have to give a uh, total uh, number of terms uh, 12 right 12 if you add uh, further go uh, further up to 12 terms up to 12 terms then the sum of these 12 terms will be equals to 636 so like this we have to uh, solve this problem I already told you in this formula that every time in most of the problem you will be getting the three uh, uh, here are the four variables total right s n n a and d there are four variables right you will be given three variables and you have to find out one so one it may be anyone it may be this one this one this one or this one right or maybe sometime l also so depending on the situations you have to use this formula something differently sometime you will be getting something you have to find out different thing right so just move with this formula right and you'll be getting whatever you want right i'll be meeting in the next video bye bye